Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm actually going to be doing a clay sculpture, which I haven't done in a while. I used some clay recently to do that Easter picture, but that was a flat image with clay. I want to do an actual clay sculpture this time. So I'm going to be sculpting a Korok from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Some people say Korok, but I like to say Korok because I feel like that's how it's supposed to be pronounced-ish, like <laughs> an Americanized way of pronouncing the, Eng or the Japanese pronunciation. I don't know. Anyway, so I have my little piece of wood and I screwed in two screws. I tried using my drill, but I couldn't get the screws to take, so I just used a screwdriver instead. And then I used some wire to build the armature for the figure. And it's not proper armature wire, so I know some people are probably cringing. It's just some flimsy jewelry wire, and it's not very sturdy at all, but it's what I had, so that's what I used. <laughs> so it's a little bendy. It's not very structurally sound, but oh well. I could have made it more strong I guess if I wound the wire in a different way maybe make some coils or something I don't know but I was a little impatient because I was doing this right before I was about to leave town so I was in a bit of a rush but I ended up having enough time to work on it anyway so it worked out for the best but yeah here I'm mixing up some clay I was actually gonna use some basic beige clay you can buy it in these big boxes and people use that for sculpting and they paint it afterwards but I don't know what happened to mine. I think I might have given it away when I gave away some art supplies in the past. So that's gone. So I just used some other colors and I picked green since most of it was going to be green and used that to sculpt. There are some other things later on that I regret sculpting in green, like the little croak is holding two sticks with berries on them and the sticks I had to paint brown and the berries I had to paint red. And as I was painting these, I was wondering why the heck didn't I just make these out of the appropriate color of clay and then I could paint on top after because trying to cover that green was a pain in the butt, especially with little spheres. And once they're cooked, you can't stick a pin in them to hold them up to paint them. So that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> At first I was just holding them and trying to paint them. Then I just set them on the paper on the desk and just let them roll around in the paint. <laughs> But yeah, here I'm just getting the basic shape of the guy and then I smoothed it out after and then stuck his arms on with a bit of wire and then the other pieces I decided I would glue on after so his face leaf was glued on and his sticks and I was going to use E6000 glue and it turns out I don't have any more. I thought I bought a new tube of it but I guess not so I just used hot glue which is a little bulky and stringy but it's alright. It still looks cute. And if you don't know what these little Kuroks are, um, they're these little creatures you find in Breath of the Wild. And they're hiding in places, like maybe under a rock, maybe you have to climb a tree to find one. There are so many different ways you can discover these guys, and there are 900 of them in the game. And it's almost like a little treasure hunt. You gotta find all of them. I'm not even close. I have 200 and some only, so I have many, many more to find, but they're so cute. I love them so much. I even have their little yahaha sound as my text ringer on my phone because they're just so adorable. <laughs> also, I didn't really know what their back end looked like, so I just gave them a little nub for a tail, but I don't think that's how their tails actually look because I've seen some other artwork since, and I'm like, oh, that's not what the tail looks like, but that's okay. <laughs> I think it's cute like this. Also, if you can hear weird noises in the background, I apologize. There's like bugs making noises and birds and sometimes a dog barking because I'm recording this outside because <laughs> there's people in the house trying to sleep. So I'm outside under a blanket to cut wind using my camera as a microphone because I don't have a microphone here. Here's a picture of me under the blanket. Hi. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, my sculptures had to be baked because this is polymer clay so you bake it in the oven pretty much and it's okay to put the wood in the oven I've done sculptures for school and so I knew that that was okay I don't have a sculpture anymore because somebody stole them but that's another story <laughs> here I'm sculpting the leaf for the face so I made the leaf shape and then I cut out the little circle shape because that's what it looks like and then I also sculpted on a little pointy nose in the middle because his, they have little th holes slash horn or noses slash horns that hold the leaves onto their faces because there's different designs for these little croaks. Some of them have green bodies, some have slightly more bluish, some are more brown, and they have leaves that come in different shapes and sizes as well. So there are so many different ones out there, but I just chose this little guy specifically because I, I just like the shape. Plus, I already used two of the other leaf shapes in 
two of my emotes on Twitch, like the little emojis that are custom to my Twitch channel. Two of them are little croaks because one says yaha and the other one says ha. <laughs> and there's different croaks behind them and so yeah. That's why I was like, I'm going to do a different one this time because I did the little almost star shaped leaf, like the five pointed leaf. I did that one already and then I also did the heart shaped one, I think. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I can't even remember. So I wanted to do a different leaf shape for my little sculpture. And yeah, here's me sculpting all the little leaves and little balls in green. Mistakes were made. <laughs> and then I used a piece of wire for the stick. And I was considering sticking on the leaves with wire as well, but I thought that might just be a bit much. So I decided I would just glue everything on after. Being the queen of glue for this, I don't think that's proper sculpting technique to use glue, but I don't really care about proper techniques. As long as it holds together, I'm good. <laughs> Now, for painting it, I used a mix of different paints. I have some dollar store paints here, as you can see, in that big tub. <laughs> but I also busted out some of my nicer acrylics that I haven't actually used yet. They're little tubes of Liquitex soft body. So anytime you see the paint looking really glossy, like this leaf, that's me using the Liquitex because the dollar store ones have a matte finish and these ones have a glossy finish. And the reason I use those is because I couldn't get a really nice green. The greens in the tubes I had were dull, which are nice greens too, I guess, but it wasn't as bright as I wanted, so I busted out the fancy paints. And same for the red. I wanted a nice bright red, so I used the Liquitex again for that. Like I said, I'm making this guy green because that's my favorite color for them. I mean, they're so cute. All the designs are cute, but I make him green. And you can probably see that little stick up his bum there. <laughs> That's because he was sagging backwards because the wire's not very strong, right? And then when I baked him, he started sagging even further back. So I took him out and I was like, oh, that is quite the lean. And I like him leaning back a little bit because it looks like he's jumping back and going, yeah, ha, ha. <laughs> but it was, it was too much lean. So I stuck a piece of wire in his bum to hold him up. So that's <laughs> propping him up because the clay was actually crumbling a little bit at his feet where his feet connected with the base because that's where the wire was wiggling. And when the wire wiggles, it makes your clay crack. And so his legs were crack a lacking and I had to stabilize it. Oh yeah, here's me trying to paint the balls. No, 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 don't, no. It's cringy to look at. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was a bit of a nightmare. And now I'm painting his little face, which is kind of cute. I almost wanted to give him one of the smiling faces, and I was like, no, I must keep it true to this leaf shape because the different leaf shapes have different faces, and some of them are kind of happy. Some look a little bit sad, but <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> and my guy actually is pretty short. They actually have taller bodies. And he looks especially short once I stick on his leaf and give him his sticks because the sticks are also a little too big for his body. So he kind of looks like a little baby croak or something, like a little chibi one. It's actually quite cute, so I don't mind the mistake. Um, so yeah, I like him. <laughs> for the patterns, I also use some reference to see what the patterns roughly looked like on his front, but for the back I had no reference, so I was just filling in the space, just making it look however I wanted. <laughs> Then after his body was all painted and the leaf and all the stick bits, it was time to glue everything together. And I didn't actually paint the leaves that stick on the stick because I was sick of painting all the little things. And I was like, you know what? They're already green. They're nice. They look good how they are. So I just didn't paint them at all. And then using my hot glue to glue everything together. And like I said, it's kind of bulky. You see the big blobs of glue when you look up close, but it holds really well and it dries fast, which is what I needed. So that was good. Cause I also had some tacky glue, but I was like, you know what? I am not waiting for this to dry. I'm getting the hot glue because I was in a rush. It was late at night. I mean, like I wasn't rushing the thing itself. Like I didn't want, I wanted to put in my full effort because I love these little Kuroks. I didn't want him to look bad. So I was, taking my time but at the same time I couldn't just sit there and let tacky glue dry like I had to be smart about it I had to be efficient yet do a good job do them justice and so yeah that's what I wanted to do and then at the end I covered him with some Mod Podge just to seal him to protect him and because some of the paint had a matte finish some had a glossy finish and this just gave everything a glossy finish so that it all matches and then here is how he looks up close I like him. I feel like I want to make a million of these, but I know I'm not going to have time, so I'm not going to, but it would be nice. 
anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video where i'm going to talk about my journey to self-employment oh it's a long video it's 33 minutes of me talking but there's also art in the background so don't worry but if you want a long video that's coming all right see you guys